In the face of increasing climate challenges and the loss of indigenous crop varieties, farmers in the county of Nakuru are turning to a unique solution, saving their own seeds. In Elementaita, in Gilgil, smallholder farmers can now access traditional, high-quality seeds that are better suited to local conditions, thanks to the growing seed banks. Denis Soteno brings us that report in this week's Smart Farm. Not even the damp weather could deter us from making our way to Elementaita in Gelgel, Nakuru County, where a humble seed is being given renewed significance. Inside this community seed bank, farmers are regaining access to traditional varieties that are increasingly rare in Kenya's commercial seed markets. There are a lot of seeds that are very important for food security, like cassava, like yam, like sweet potatoes, even the potatoes themselves, uh, it's very hard to get those seeds from the shops. So the only way that they could be accessed is through having a farmers having their own network so that they can share, exchange, and they could be able to multiply them and uh, whoever need them can use them. Daniel Wanjama is the founder of the Seed Savers Network, an initiative he started in 2009 to reduce farmers' dependency on commercial seeds and imported varieties that often struggle in local soils. So at the moment, for instance, uh, Kenya is importing over 95% of vegetable seeds. And that, me, that, that means, for instance, if a situation that is now what is happening in Israel happens in those countries where we are importing seeds from, it means we will not be able to feed ourselves and it means um, we go hungry because seed is food and food is life and if you cannot have ability to feed yourself, you are running a serious risk. The seed bank in Gilgil hosts a wide range of indigenous seeds, including legumes, nuts, vegetables, maize, and even tree seedlings. These seeds, often overlooked in the commercial seed space, are not only adapted to local conditions, but can be replanted, a critical advantage over many hybrid varieties. We base our work on indigenous knowledge, traditional knowledge, the knowledge of our ancestors. So uh, the moment we, we engage in the community, we want to look for these people who still have traditional knowledge and they, they, they are using it. Beyond seed storage, the center is a hub for traditional agricultural knowledge with facilities for composting, tree nurseries, vegetable dehydration and soil conservation. Wanjama and his team have made the seed bank a training ground, empowering farmers to manage their own seed systems. Anne Wamboi, a seed bank and nursery officer here, says the project emerged from an urgent need to stop the disappearance of traditional crops. We came up with this idea of saving seeds because we realized that a lot of our indigenous varieties are getting lost. And also farmers are depending a lot on agrovets. Like when a farmer plants seeds and harvests, the farmer takes all the seeds to the market because those seeds you can't replant them. But as for the indigenous variety, the traditional varieties, we can replant again. So you are trying to break that dormancy of the farmer depending on the agrovets. The Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service, KEFIS, is currently developing policies to guide the protection and preservation of indigenous seed varieties. Wanjama and his team have trained 74,000 farmers to identify and collect indigenous seed varieties facing extinction. He hopes to have more seed banks going forward, having helped establish 54 community seed banks so far. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.